hello friends good morning good afternoon in this session we are going to see how to delete millions of records in fraction of second so let's see yeah first of all before of this date there is a 6.1 million record i have to delete right means before 180 days there is a 6.1 million records and uh, yeah in current table uh, means there is a current record count is the 7.3 right and uh, we have to improve the performance means actually with the help of delete it will take two hour one hour or there is a maybe locking or blocking and one more thing in the background there is a transaction lock size will also increase so how to tackle that actually we apply the partition on the table this is the solution but how to do it and what are the things before doing this activity so let's consider that what is the partition partition means suppose there is a table and we have to segregate into the multiple chunks means there is a logical tables behind of it means there is a one table and let's say here is the daily meal collection is the table correct and in that there are several dates like say i am just selecting top 1000 records from it correct and uh, here is the date date time means there is a for there are some 2022 records means which is of ninth month and this is the 10th month correct so there may be a right now we have to delete the data before of the 2023 miss data and before six month data means this is the older data and we have to clean up it completely right and uh, so i am going to apply the partition miss there is a for uh, we can apply the partition by year wise month wise okay and right now i am going to apply the partition month wise before suppose there is a for ninth month data and how to miss we delete the data it will require some time best way we can apply the partition truncate that partition and then we are good okay so what are the things behind of it right now table table having the primary key or index behind of it right so we need to take care of that first and then there is a trigger or in the background of table and there are some foreign keys means suppose we are deleting the data from daily meal collection and there are some tables behind of it and those are apply as a foreign key with references means cascade on delete means this is the parent table and there are some child table then we need to think about it yeah what are the dependency about that table and one more thing let's say uh, click on that particular table and press alt f1 so you will get the foreign key list means where it is re referenced so right now it is the transaction table and nowhere it is referenced yeah means there is a uh, after that there is a no any like how i am showing you how it is not referenced first of all uh, there is a registration table we can so i am giving you the example Regi correct registration alt f1 so here you could see there is a yeah table is referenced by the foreign key means in the registration table means registration id is referenced in below tables correct so we need to think about that right now daily meal collection is not referenced in any tape means there is a no any foreign key is referenced correct it having the foreign key but they are using the different tables it is the transaction table right now and it having only one index which is the primary key clustered index correct and so we need to drop that and then we have to create the clustered index on the basis of date column correct means right now date time is the column and we have to segregate the data in multiple chunks with the help of date time flag right and date time column we can call and one more thing means you are checking trigger foreign key 
there is a no thing trigger no any foreign key then you are ready to go okay so first of all we will see what is the partition how to do that partition and then we will go into the detail yeah here is the first of all we have to apply the partition then we need to create the partition function and then we have to create the scheme correct so what i did here actually i created the partition with number of months means there is a 2021 0101 and before of that all the data before of the 2021 that is belongs to one partition and rest of the means for each month there is a single partition if you uh, execute on it then yeah it is completed successfully then we have to create the scheme as a partition function sorry partition schema and based on the we have to specify the uh, partition function name here and all to the primary means it is the file group correct so i will take a separate session on how to create the partition belongs to file group right now we are not uh, applying the file group and then partition means there is a ndf file is come into the picture but right now i am just simply create the partition for that table no any file group is considered here you could see there is a primary file group correct yeah i will take a separate session and then uh, you will get the complete knowledge about it means what is the partition and what are the different benefits and there is a downside as well means suppose uh, downside is that here we are yeah suppose daily meal daily meal collection is the table and it having the uh, transaction id as a primary key correct and you are joining every time you are in a, a transaction id column correct so it might be a right now clustered index is different means there is a on date time so you will get slowness on the transaction id because right now clustered index on date time that's why but what you have to do you have to do um, first of all apply the partition then work with uh, indexes means drop index drop clustered index and primary key then create index means create only one index means clustered index because other index we we don't require we have to drop the data then we have to make it in a previous shape means previous state index and then this is the first step apply the partition drop the index create the clustered index and then do the activity means this is the main activity we have to truncate the partition correct truncate partition and then yeah then again we have to um, drop that particular clustered index on which we did the uh, there is a date time correct so here date time and same we need to drop that correct and then after that what is the previous state yeah first of all we drop the indexes at here means there is a one or more correct means we have to create them as it is means primary key here create index so this is the steps we have to follow means right now what we are doing first of all applying the partition then dropping the indexes on available on the particular table then in this this is the activity we have to do clustered index on date time column truncate the partition then create the uh, cluster drop the index drop the clustered index and then create the original indexes table it will take very less time because uh, your data is millions of rows into the lakhs that's why here very less time require and here also we are dropping index so dropping index will not take too much time so millions of records you can do activity in a very less time and 
there is a no in a transaction log will occur and you need to think about only two things means trigger and foreign key references that's it and if there is a replication so how that data is replicated so you need to think about the dependency and uh, no problem and the actual use case of this scenario means when there is a error table or a error log table means there is a you are having an application and an application having the millions of records in error log table so instead of deleting one by one why we are not doing this activity correct this is the best case for that or some of the staging table we have to delete the data from uh, some date time then we can do that activity correct so let's start what is the uh, we will go into the partition in detail and till the time we created the partition function and partition schema correct so here is the query with the help of that you can see the different partition right and miss there is a 2021 before of that there is a mm, means it contain the data belong miss 2021 0101 and before of that data and it contains miss there is a 2023 greater than this date that data is belongs to the partition 36 correct so this is again a one query it is a large one and uh, we have to specify the table name and then execute it so you will get complete list of partition right now we are not getting any partitions why because we didn't apply the partition on daily meal collection table correct so apply first of all we have to apply then we will again back to this query correct so right now daily meal collection having constraints primary key we have to check correct so yes it having the primary key clustered index if there are multiple indexes as well so you need to drop them and then um, then apply the partition and then at the end we can create it again correct so right now i am dropping the primary key constant here click on that and just see primary key constant name mention over here and drop the constant miss we drop the primary key and right now we are going to uh, create clustered index right now if you see there is a no any primary key there miss there is a no any index on it right so we can easy to create the uh, clustered index with the help of partition right now what i am doing here miss creating the clustered index on clustered part underscore uh, daily meal collection date time right and which flag i am considering date time and fill factor 80 actually fill factor is nothing but the percentage or percentage of space fill within a leaf page may suppose there is a leaf page and how much percentage of data we have to fill in that particular table so we can decide with the help of fill factor means there is a hundred percentage is the space and out of that there is a 90 percent so 20 percent will vacant correct so here is the 80 and 20 means 20 percent is the vacant for that page means uh, whenever there is a reorganize or a, do the index maintenance activity at that time this is the required okay and we can set it as a 90 percent based on your practice or based on your uh, whatever the your application need so you can do that set that yeah and sort in temp db means all the activities right now we are creating the clustered index so that sorting activity is we can get with the help of temp db and schema actually i will show you uh means in index creation point of view i am i will create a one separate session on index creation so how to create the index and in the background of creating the index so there is a how many rows are transferred 
so we can track that activity as well correct okay and here we have to mention the on clause in while creating the index we are having a option to specify this means fill factor sort in time db and on clause on clause means on which schema we are applying this clustered index partition means there is a date time is the column and uh, miss that date time is passed to the particular partition function and which schema there is a function part is the function part is the uh, partition function and schema is the sch underscore part correct so that schema we are considering here and yes create the clustered index on it means if you see the progress actually uh, in the sort in tmdb we can track that activity as well so right now the query is not handy so i will post that query as well in the while or i will give you the demo for that as well no problem so here is no requirement to create the uh, primary key right now what i am i am skipping it right now but if you see daily mill collection table so here you could see there is a clustered index is created correct and if you have to create uh, index means sorry uh, non clustered index and primary key on another column there is a transaction id means if you have to see or uh, you have to still as it is means without dropping anything so you can consider but in that case the uh, um, that particular um, table performance will down correct because a transaction id is the all which there is a non clustered index so it will clustered index is the first as compared to the non clustered correct so that's why you have to keep as it is no problem but there is a performance issue uh, there is a might be a chance to create the performance because issue because we are joining the table with the transaction id not the date time right so yeah okay uh, then uh, we will check first of all partitions here you could see previously we, uh, we executed this query but uh, we didn't get any rows or uh, we didn't have any data in it right so if you uh, miss when we apply the partition there are these records are available in specific partition you could you could see there is a in current partition there is a one lakh record and we have to keep the data for six months only and rest of the partitions we can easily truncate correct so this is the partition number and miss this date 20, jan 2021 if you see jan 2021 there is a zero reds and partition as a one this is the second partition so based on that you can truncate the partition means we no need to uh, apply the delete query instead we can use the truncate partition easily how to do that <coughs> first of all i have to show sys.database files means where is that file is located and how much size so here you could see there is a size is this right click properties files and there is a 4 5 6 mb only because it having the data that's why size is it having a size 2 gigs and there is a 456 uh, mb only right and uh, i am truncating the partition here means there is a syntax is a very simple truncate table table name with no need to execute this table command why because if you execute it whole data will vanish best way with the help of partition make the partition number here or miss actually specify the partition number here and please listen carefully don't execute with this only otherwise your data will completely lost so we have to uh, specify with clause and with partition number which partition you have to delete correct so yeah what i have to do right now i have to i am just uh, for right now i am 
specifying the partition number as a 2. What is the records? There is a 259.780. 259.780. Correct. So, and what is the partition number? Second 2. So, specify that partition number and then execute it. So, yeah, and then you could see. Okay. Record is 0 and previously uh, record count is also different right now. Actually, we uh, yes, before 180 days, there is a yeah 6.1 and we deleted 2 point something uh, 2 lakh something records. So, here is the 5.9 correct and previously it was 6.1 right and right now what i am doing i am executing the same command for all the partitions and then i will show you the size of the transaction log so same copy Three, four, five, six, the seventh, eight, nine, ten. Correct. So from third to the tenth, we are deleting the partition. Correct. And then what I will do? I am. And be careful, means till which partition we have to delete the data. First of all, check the partition number. Otherwise, it is too bit risky. Uh, six month data we have to keep. Means first of all, I am not considering this uh, current partition. One, two, three, four, five, six. So till the thirty, I am truncating the data. Okay, I am deleting the 11 to 20 and right now 30 uh, till the 30 I have to delete the partition. Okay, it's directly go and 3 sorry control Z 2. Okay, 21 20, 22 up to the 30. So execute it. Okay, means right now we deleted the 30 partition second to 30 right just check it again correct means there is a till this means 2023 uh, 7 we have a data right now the data i, I inserted in uh, current date plus six months that's why means there is a first of december 2023 it is based on your whatever the logic you implemented based on that you can truncate the partition correct so let's see count yeah 6.9 only right means there is a sorry six six lakh ninety five thousand only records so what will be the miss actually previously there is a millions of records and right now it is in only lakhs and let's see what is the size of transaction log file? Where is that command? Yeah, sys dot database files. So yeah, we noted there is a uh, five means there is a five eight three six eight. Previously it was same. Right click on it. Properties. Correct means for five five six means uh, even transaction log file is also not increased. And how to reclaim that particular space? Right now, previously it was if you see <coughs> two one two gigs, and right now it is also two gigs. Correct. So how to reclaim? Simple option. Yeah. Right click on it. Task. 
then shrink and then files because we deleted the data from the M data file correct not the log is completely fine because yeah log is also miss actually it is the previous logs miss that's why it was increased but act uh, in during the insert it was increased but during the delete it not it is not and uh, data we have to rem we remove the data from the table correct so right now 20 miss 92 percent it is free so just click on okay so it will uh, release that space and right now i am removing the lock space as well it, it is due to the actually here if you are not uh, see the any changes then just right click on it and just shrink the database but how it is not affected because we have to uh, set the database recovery model in a simple mode then and then it will affect otherwise in full recovery model it will not so right click database then here you could see there is a 95 miss uh, sorry 1907 and 75% it is we can free up the space then sys dot database files here you could see there is a 21 miss uh, even size is also decreased yeah even right click properties yeah 165 mb previously it was 2 gigs and right now it is a 165 that is the difference got it and uh, yeah so with the help of truncate partition we can remove the n numbers of records got it and yeah right now we have to again set it back on a previous state what i said earlier yeah we have to do the activity then whatever the index we created clustered index we have to drop it and then make it in a previous state it's a very simple miss there is a alter table daily mail collection drop the constraints whatever the constraints we created which constraints yeah because uh, specify that particular um, constraints there is a drop constraint constraint name actually with the help of this syntax instead of when we have to when we created the primary key then we have to do this command otherwise drop index index name on table name correct okay and uh, yeah previously a uh, table having a uh, one primary key correct means here uh, let's say here there is a drop one index or more index so we have a backup of that correct and here i took the backup means uh, there is a this index means uh, drop constraint we drop the primary key so i have a that uh, backup of that particular query and then just create the previous index earlier means primary key on transaction id just execute it yeah within a fraction of second it will create and table as it is no problem right here means there is a create the index or one or more index then create it again and in this yeah i said miss foreign key and trigger we need to take care of that i think you are good with this yeah miss very less number of records right now miss previously it was a 2 gigs and right now it is only the 215 mb and if you execute it then you could see there is a previous 180 days there is a nothing record in it right so this is the demo and if you execute this select command then you are not getting anything because we drop the clustered index of the partition index uh, partition index correct so we drop that so we are not getting any records here and at the end what you have to do we have to drop that particular schema and partition functions so first of all uh, drop this uh, if yeah drop the schema and then drop the function that's it means all the things are good in in a good shape thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please share it and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye